Hello and welcome to the final Lost Predator review. This here will be NECA's fourth variation of the Golden Angel, or Greyback if you will. Now with fresh ultimate treatment, let's dive into this one together. So finally, finally the ultimate tribe is finally wrapped up. Because right here we have the third version of the Elder Predator that NECA has done. Technically, if you want to say it would be the fourth version, uh, there was the Golden Angel version they'd done. Uh, which I believe was based off a uh, comic book, I believe, which was kind of a younger variant of uh, Say This Predator, to my understanding. But from the movies, though, this has been touched on three times. Now, what I'm curious about is to see if they've gotten everything perfect, because there were some things that I remember on the original one way back in 2011 that was really imperfect, and we've obviously seen a big jump in quality when it comes to these Predators, and I can't wait to get in and take a look at this one. We are also going to do a comparison between the 2011, and I want to say the other one came out in 13, 14, I can't remember. But anyway, you will see those other two versions pop up in here, and we'll get a comparison just to see how far these figures have came. Before we go any further, though, with this guy, though, we're going to look at the box art. So the box art of this figure I wasn't something that I fully appreciated uh, at first when I first saw the box art. Uh, this is due to the fact that, I don't know, when I see these things online, usually I get a good look at it, and the basic idea of it is... And then for that, once I get them in person, that's when I actually get a chance to actually like really inspect it and kind of notice uh, certain things. But what I really like about this, though, is one thing I did not notice online is the sheer fact that we have two predators that are cloaked in the background, which is kind of a neat, subtle detail that I didn't even pick up on initially when I saw the pictures floating around online. Of course, we got the trophy wall in the background, and for that, we have the elder standing there, and that is pretty well all there is to this right here. Flip it to the side, and you have Predator 2, 30th Anniversary. And then for that, the other side, number 10. So we are now completely wrapped up with all the box art right here. And you can guys go ahead and pause this. Go ahead and read it, the back if you would like to. So we'll go ahead and move it in just a little bit closer to make it easier. But uh, we have different stills of the Elder Predator. And then for that, the entire Lost Tribe line. And then for that, on the bottom, one thing that is different too about this one is, uh, let's see if we get this focus just a bit right here. Well, basically what I'm going to show you guys is we have the little information about the, uh, the LED, uh, batteries, which is helpful once you go ahead and, um, uh, get into this figure. I haven't even got that mask out yet, so it's going to be the first time once I pull it out. And then we have our shot of the Elder Predator in the inside, and for that, our accessories and everything else, all the goodies. That's that for this right here. So, it's good box art. But it's probably not like uh, the best, my favorite, honestly. But it's a great way to just wrap this up. Um, that was Armhead Studio that was responsible for that box art as well. So I've switched lens, and I want to go ahead and give you guys the best look possible that I can give you guys to kind of see what I'm talking about with certain things. This Predator, to me, is just always distinctive for this piercing. Now, when I unbox this, I didn't think nothing of this piercing. Um, usually, they always just go ahead and they use like a plastic and it just, that's just how it is. But I looked at this and I was like, is this metal right here? Like, I get curious. So, I'm going to show you guys something. This kind of tickled me a little bit real quick. So, let's see if we can get it to react. And we do. We have a reaction right there. Now, some people are probably like, why does this matter right here? This is like really stupid right here. You're overly fascinated over a magnet uh, and metal. But it's, it's not that. It's just the extra detail that NECA has took to make that happen right there, which I really appreciate that. We, uh... And the hair right here, the dreadlocks, I don't know what's up with these specks right here. Uh, that to me just seems a little odd, doesn't feel like it's supposed to be there. In fact, it looks like when you're airbrushing something and you're running out of paint and it starts sputtering. So that's kind of ugly right there. But uh, I don't really look at this guy from the back really that often, right? And uh, it's something that I forget about. And maybe it is intentional, I don't know. I'm not trying to overly defend them in the paint apps department because sometimes I know how bad they can be. But, um, this Predator, though, it does use, I believe, a variation of, uh, the Jungle Hunter. It just seems to be a little aged up, maybe? I mean, but, uh, regardless, though, it does give me that likeness, though, of the Elder Predator. And I think it does a fantastic job. But we're gonna go ahead and now just go down a little further on this guy and get a good look every which way. Take a look at the armor right there. It definitely has that vibe that it's been aged throughout the years and took some damage, a little bit of wear. I want to go ahead and point something out right here. I don't know if you guys are picking up on this, and it's kind of difficult because of the lighting, but that is a good example right there from what I'm catching with my actual eyes, that there's some netting that just is just lacks any paint apps at all. 
Uh, so that's one of those areas of concern right there. That I definitely can see it. it does get a little light there. Again, these are never perfect as far as that goes. If you really look at them really closely and get in depth, you will notice it. This is also one of the new parts right here. I believe it is a cloth of uh, somebody that he had killed. He's wrapped around his arm. Flip to the back right here. And there's not a lot of crazy things just happening with this guy in the paint apps. I mean, it, it feels very familiar with everything that we've known overall with this Predator. Uh, I do also like, I also noticed this right here. This Predator does not have a uh, wrist gauntlet computer that does, it doesn't even open. Like, it's because of the fact that it's been damaged already. So I think that's kind of interesting. And I actually want to read the back because I haven't read it myself. I'm curious if there is any lore be behind uh, how that happened, if it says anything right there. But I think that's a little fascinating. And everything down here is pretty well just the same of what we know. I got to say that I really appreciate all the detail that we have. Move on down. It is jungle hunters uh shins that he has shin uh, guards that he has and then for that down to the feet he is, appears to favor the city hunter feet so uh that is one big significant difference on this one that i'm really noticing uh, also whacking the pipes on this one right here which is accurate to the movie and then for that we do have our pipe right pipes right here i don't know if that was even accurate if, if my memory serves me right, I have to go back and look at the movie, but I think all of that was absent, though, from this Predator. Um, we also have our little trophies right here that he has. Everything there is intact. And then finally, um, let's go ahead and move this arm up real quick. Uh, we do have the skull right here. And that's really all there is I can say about this right here. But I do think this is a great Predator. So we want to go ahead and look at the articulation of this Predator. Uh, he is a little bit hindered, unlike the Snake Predator, due to the fact that he does have uh, longer dreadlocks. He does have actual armor on him. He just has that Jungle Hunter armor on him. Uh, the head doesn't appear to go up and down that much, but you can get your spin out of him. Um, just be sure you're, you're being mindful of where you're grabbing. You're not grabbing around the mandibles too much. You might break the piercing. You have our upper arm articulation, kind of spins on around right here, a cut up there. Then we have our elbow articulation. I won't lie, this scares me right here. This is really loose, like more than I'm comfortable with. So I'm going to not mess with that. Then for that, we have our uh, our hands, which do pop on and, on and off. Uh, they're just kind of on a, a ball joint. Um, that's just the usual for that. The same articulation on the other side. Then we have our... Uh, ab articulation, which we get a little bit of a rock out of it. Not a whole lot, really, though. Just just enough. And then for that, the waist kind of spins on around. I'm going to be a little careful and mindful of things. Uh, the whole idea is just to kind of give you an idea of how it works, and you guys can go from there. Uh, the legs, and just goes all the way up. This The legs are doing pretty good, actually, like on this guy right here. Normally for these predators, um, I get a little nervous with the legs. But not this one. Oh, this is this leg. This these double jointed knees right here. This might be the best actually. I, I I know this has always existed, but I'm getting this all the way back right there. Usually I'm really skeptic because um, my point of these reviews is I just want to show you guys, but uh, I don't like going super in depth like some people do because I'm just afraid I'm going to break it on review. And then for that we have our way, our feet, which is kind of rocking around, no restrictions whatsoever. Uh, that does it for that. I don't think I'm missing anything. Just, oh, uh, um, be mindful on this arm right here. I feel like there's a good reason I didn't move this around. This pipe, I mean, it, it's not accurate to the movie. If you want to cut it off, cut it off. But it is there, so be mindful of it. So bringing in the accessories that we've got. Now, what do you expect with these Predators? Yeah, this is what we got again. We are working with more skulls. I mean, come on, guys. I mean, just, I wish NECA could shake this up right here. I mean, this is the end of the line, but down the line... If we see more Predators, just give us something a little bit different right here. Even like if it was just, say, like a, a skull and spine combo, just missing the jaw. Just something as simple as that right there. But we do have this the full skull itself and then the skull, skull and spine combo. Moving over, we have his little sword uh, that we always usually have. This is something that NECA just goes ahead and always throws in there. Of course, he had it in the movie. He was holding it in, I want to say, his, um, I think it was his left hand. I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, then, of course, speaking of hands, we have multiple different hands you can go ahead and give to this Predator. He has his a disc one. He doesn't have a disc, but they have just that one I threw in there, a grasping one. And then for that, we have another one that would go ahead and hold his sword uh, for his, um, his left hand. Then for that, we have our blast effect. 
uh, as usual, you go ahead and throw that on in there. Then finally, there's the iconic flintlock pistol right here, and it is painted drastically different. Now, um, I'm going to swing back to this in a moment and talk more on this, because I'm going to get in and compare all the flintlocks that have been released throughout the years, that I have at least. Now, we do have two different helmets right here. Um, this is pretty well the main one, I think, that I'm probably going to use right here. I gotta say, this is really cool, but there's one thing, though, that I was, like, really stumped about this one when I had unboxed this. I was like, okay, the LED, it's supposed to, um, like, like, how do you, how do you get this to work right here? So I was, like, looking around, and I was like, do you just pry this thing entire way off? Well, right here. Now, you gotta get in right here. If you don't have fingernails, it's gonna suck, but you can find something to get in there and get that, flip that on. And then for that, you just go ahead and uh, put this right back on. So hopefully I don't struggle too much. And there you go. You have it on right there. So I do think this is pretty cool. Um, I don't think this is a helmet I'm going to use a lot. I like the simplicity of this one right here. It's a preference one. People probably think uh, this one's a lot more unique considering the fact that it's just entirely different. But um, that's that for the accessories. I mean, it's nothing too astounding, honestly, for what it's worth. But um, it's... The end of the line, this is how we end it right here, and we've got plenty of stuff for this Predator to work with. Real quick, when we're comparing these Predators, I want to go ahead and do it this way. We're going to go ahead and have one version versus the newest one. Uh, for starts, obviously, we have the 2011 version. So I'm going to go ahead and push the Ultimate to the back and kind of put a little focus on the original one that came out in 2011. When this figure came out, it was just a mixed bag of emotions of how people felt about it due to the fact the forehead had these uh, little specks on it. And um, also the shoulder cannon did not have the aiming device on the top, which was something people were really critical of. Um, little also disclaimer about this one as well. He did have the piercing on him. However, though, it has not held up through the years and it fell off. The piping, I remember I ended up just kind of cutting it off because later in the movie, uh, when I was watching, I realized that it didn't have any of the piping on it. So I figured I'd just make it a little bit more accurate. Uh, but um, there, there were a lot of inaccuracies. So, uh, pulling this one forward now. So, uh, one thing I want to go ahead and point out is the, the belt right here. If you notice, we have the skull right here, and it is completely absent on, uh, this one right here. I don't know where NECA came up with that. Maybe it was just bad judgment because of the fact that, um, it does appear on where he holds his, uh, knife. But, uh, right here, somehow it ends up on the belt, which is kind of odd. So... Uh, this one, it's pretty well just a gray and just extremely flat. You don't have any of that variation of skin coloring in the arms as you do, say, right here. And um, flipping him all the way around, you also do not have that little uh, cloth right there that is around his, his elbow. And on the back right here, let's see if I can notice any difference. It appears to be a lot darker of a brown right here. I actually, that's actually one thing I really like about this one, that this one uh, uh, doesn't have right here. So, I um, uh, there, there's there's always those little things I can look at and see in these Predators from the older ones and appreciate a lot more. Then for that, for the bag right here, uh, you can notice that it has, the, uh, it has the, um, the bones right there. Then this one over here, on the other hand, just is pretty well just a basic generic one. So, uh, that is where these figures do dra drastically differ. And just the little things that you might overlook, because when you look at them, it's pretty well the same premises of what you're going to see. I mean, yeah, it's the Elder Predator. Um, this one does do better as far as the head goes. I mean, it has that, uh, the accurate, um, you know, where he had, you know, more of his the center of his face was more so white. But then after that, on the outsides, it was darker. This one does not have that completely wax it all together. And uh, another thing, too, about this one is you have this ugly little seam right there with the mandibles going onto the face, it's just not noticeable on this one, so they've cleaned it up big time, and, um, I want to see how these wrist blades do, too, as well, right here, wrist blades, as always, for Predator figures, always pull out, I notice on my Ultimate, these come out really far, I mean, it seems like it's further than most, maybe just me, just overlooking into that, but that feels like it's a little further than the range that they usually get, but the, uh, the newer one is definitely superior. There's just certain things that maybe I like out of this one, such as I did like the uh, the browns on it. Um, also, this is before they were doing the new articulation. You know, Nowadays, they have so many different forms of articulation. Uh, because of that, with the old articulation, this part right here is just painted and sculpted right exactly to the Predator as is. 
So now we're going to jump over to Volume 2, which I can't remember was when it was released, but it's the next one, and it does a little bit better. The second Elder that released, one of the most distinctive things about this one has to be the quills on this one. And this is due to the fact that it has these white paint apps over it, which are just lost on this one. This is preference right here. Might be a hot take, but I prefer this right here. And the reason why is due to the fact that we get to actually notice the quills a bit more. With the way things are on the Elder one, it feels like it is lost, the overall sculpt. I mean, they're there if I go ahead and feel around, but it's one of those one things that it just, to me right here, I just dig this a lot more in the direction they went with this one. Uh, this one also does favor... It's, it's a darker gray, but almost to the point to where, honestly, sometimes when I look at it, depending on the lighting, it kind of feels like it's getting to be a uh, a lighter blue, honestly, which um, it, it's somewhere in the middle, though. But, I mean, it has none of that color var variation still, with in the exception, we do notice it in the legs. Um, there is a little bit, kind of a hint of it in the arms, and then for that, on the back. But uh, this one does kind of have that nice fleshy, and then for that, that darker uh, gray color. So, I mean, it is, this does match up really well for what it goes for. It's just that I'm kind of on the fence, though, which that I prefer, and I obviously feel like this is the one right here that I prefer just a bit more. Um, it does have its piercing. This one has stood up throughout the years. However, though, um, it is just a plastic rather than a metal. So that is one thing. This Predator also does have its shoulder cannon, which is uh, accurate, which was one thing that people complained about, and they got their way. The piping on this one is all here on both sides. Um, it seems to be a little thicker, actually, too, the piping. Maybe that's just me. But um, I never bothered cutting that one on off. Uh, we also got the bones on the bag right there for this one. And this one, again, oh, I, I, I can't help but notice, but it seems like on this back part right here, notice this right here. There seems to be this extra layer right here, it almost looks like. And then for that, on this one, it is just, just one piece. So that is an interesting little uh, note that I did not quite notice. And let's see if we're seeing anything else. Nothing, just darker. Same feet, by the way, it has the City Hunter feet as to where the other one had the Jungle Hunter's uh, feet. But um, it does feel like this, el this Elder right here that came out was decent though for its time definitely um i don't think this is actually i mean if you were to get either one of these two i'd say you're going to be okay i mean obviously it's going to be easier to find this one but i feel like there's an incentive to own this one the only thing is is it lacks some of the articulation that the other one would have now i want to shift gears and kind of talk about something with the uh the flintlocks because i would like to see how that has changed throughout the years I think after a better inspection, definitely the second one right here is my favorite of all of them. Um, the gold one, like I said, is terrific. But one of my big gripes about this one is the name on the side appears to kind of go missing. Now, um, obviously, there's only so much you can do at this scale. So certain things like that are going to end up uh, missing along the line. But that is one thing I want to be very critical about and kind of mention. It probably won't be noticeable to some people, but I'm going to go ahead and point it out. Incomplete summary, I'm thrilled to have The Lost Tribe finished. And honestly, I kind of wonder, what next from here? Do we have the Wolf Predator? It's possibly going to be the Feral Predator. That's probably where we're headed next. My only thing is, though, I hope we don't have to wait an entire year. And hopefully by the end of the year, we can go ahead and have the Feral Predator. Because I feel like now it's a time to kind of cash in. But the Lost Tribe is completely out there. And I do advise everybody to go chase down this line and get them all together. If you missed out back in 2011, 2013, this is your perfect opportunity to get better versions with more accessories in better box art that definitely holds up well, that will look terrific on the wall, however you want to display it. Don't throw away this art. This is too beautiful. You got to take it in. That's just my two cents, though, on that, though. And that wraps it for the Ultimate Predator line. Be sure to check into my channel. Check into my other reviews that I have going on. There's a lot of fun coming on the horizon. Thank you guys for joining me. Like, subscribe. Let me know. Did you get this figure in the comment section? Thanks again.